Okay, so let the beauty of the contour begin, the beauty battle. <laughs> I love doing beauty battles between brands because it's so much fun to see what actually works, what doesn't work, and uh, just to see what the, compare the different ones is so you guys don't have to. So I'm doing it for you. Okay, so the battle today is between Morph and Fenty Beauty, both very well known within the industry, both high end, um, kind of fun to use both of these. I've used both and uh, I know which one my favorite is, but I want to share this with you guys so you can see. So on the right side of my face, I'll be using the Fenty and on the left side of my face, I will also be using the Morph. Now I'm going to say this right out of the gate. They're both fantastic. So I don't think you're going to actually go wrong using either or, but the thing I am going to show you is you can actually blend it with a beauty blender or with a brush. I'm going to show you guys which one to use. So this is just your regular beauty blender. Um, and this one is a pro what does it say pro slanting buffing uh, number 88 and this is a Sephora brand so I hope you guys can see that I've got my mirror here so that's what you're gonna see me off camera kind of heading this way that's where my mirror is I've already got my foundation on so you guys know I'm ready to rock and roll on this area I uh, yeah let the let the games begin ding, ding. okay so first out of the gate we're going to be using fenty beauty now remember if you're like me and you're pale here's my best advice don't go for a brown base you want to almost go for like a grayer base well at least when you're looking at everything you're going to be like ooh, that doesn't look quite you want to stay away from the the brown browns because it's going to look orange on you and you probably already figured that out so this color that i'm using is called amber from fenty beauty and i am going to make my little war marks and I want to show you how I actually contour my face because I get a lot of people asking me, how do you contour? And then I go here. You guys are going to think, oh my God, you use so much. It, it, it looks like a lot, but it's not. Um, this is how I kind of chisel out the face. I'm going to go on the side of the nose to hide the hump. I got that Frenchman hump going on there and a little bit on the nose. Okay, so let's start with this side. I'm going this side I'm going to do with the blending I'm looking at my mirror so I apologize I'm not looking at you guys all but I think you guys just want to see me do this okay the one thing I will say about the Fenty is it blends like butter so it is really easy to blend and it's buildable so if you're a little shy and you're starting out and you're like I don't know how I'm doing this is probably a good technique to start with because it's going to help you kind of Kind of get there and you know sometimes like in, in nighttime you're going to go a little bit bolder during the day i like to be a little bit more natural looking or as scott barnes calls it snatchel i love scott barnes if you guys haven't been watching him on youtube you need to watch scott barnes he does jennifer lopez's move um makeups for pretty much everything all her movies her videos even when at her halftime show i love this stuff okay so that's half the face. Oh yeah, you can tell already. Like you can see how the cheeks kind of come in. It's very subtle compared to this, right? And again, just a little hint right here. You don't want to use too much and a little bit up in here. I think I probably could use a little bit more. Let's let's give it a little bit more than that because I want to kind of, there we go. Kind of want to bring this in a bit. I got a big forehead. You guys see me do a lot of stuff, so I want to be fair. So like I said, this blends like butter. I really, really do like it. And I will say right out of the gate already, it actually blends better than Morph. Just gonna say. I'm sorry, I love you, Morph. Okay, the Morph I'm using is Effect 12. Effect 12. So that's the one I'm using. And again, almost exactly, if I can show you guys, almost exactly the same color, maybe just a hint off. So not by much. But these are definitely the colors for a pale skin like me. Are you a pale skin? If you are pale skin, trust me, you want this all right so again i'm pulling out the little hair so i don't get those in the way and then i just draw and you're probably wondering why do i do it under the jawline because it helps to keep if you have like little jowl thingies or maybe you're carrying a little extra weight that you normally you know your winter your winter coat is on um, this is going to actually help kind of cut the line and make it look a little smoother if you really want to zazz it up there's a little little spot right here Look at that. You blend that in and it really cuts in the chin line. It's one of my favorite techniques that I use. And yes, I do this often. Okay, let's use the brush. Now, hang on. Do I have a little... Sorry about that. I'm going to use a little spritzer. I always think it's good to kind of add a little spritz to the brush and then just kind of shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid. Okay, technique is still the same. Uh, I'm going to use a stippling technique. I don't like to use a you know, a rubbing technique too much because I find it just, 
doesn't give me that flawless. I want it to melt into each other. I don't want it to be like this obvious. Okay. All right. So this is definitely a little bit darker than the Fenty. It does blend beautifully. But like I said, I, I have to say, in all honesty, the Fenty blends so, so smoothly. And this one is a little bit, needs a little bit more love. A little bit more, a little bit more zhuzhing. And again, it, it, when it comes to brushes versus the sponge, honestly, <laughs> it's personal preference. Um, I go through phases where I just want the brush one day or I'll want the beauty blender. They both really do work. I think this is a little bit more of an aggressive kind of like, if you need to really get in there and you need something. Oh wow, look at that. I don't know. I kind of like them both guys. I don't know. Let me just do my, my nose a little bit here. What do you guys think? I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of I'm kind of loving the morph. Like I feel like the morph is a little bit more dramatic compared to the Fenty. Now let's give Fenty a chance. So let's just add a little bit more. Maybe I was not hard enough, but as you can see, it's very light when it goes on, right? Yeah, it's really light when it goes on. Let's let's see what happens if I just add a little bit more. And again, you just want to kind of blend out the edges. You don't want to necessarily mess with it too terribly much. And with a nice patting motion, whether it's a brush or a beauty blender, personally, on the delicate areas, I like to use a beauty blender, personally. Mmm, guys. I think, okay, my first opinion is I think they both do a really beautiful job. I think and I feel, and if you guys are picking up on it like I'm picking it up, I'm finding that the Morph is giving me a little bit more structure and the Fenty Beauty is giving me more of the very soft natural, or like I said, Scott Barnes natural, I love that term. So there you go. So maybe that's really not the battle, it's more preference. So here, I think they're both fantastic. I don't think you'll go wrong with either one of them. I think if you want more of a daytime kind of contouring look without it making it look like you have contouring and you want a little bit more of a, like maybe going to work, right? You wanna look like you're done, but you don't wanna look like you're done. Fenty, all the way. If you like to be a little bit more kind of like, I want to really show off or chisel off that area, your morph is ready to rock and roll. Man, guys, this is, I'm impressed. I think they both did a beautiful job. I love the way my face feels. It feels well contoured. You can see that things kind of look a little bit more cut, a little bit more, you know what I mean? Just a little bit more. And of course, if you want to, you can always go back in and just kind of clean up the edges. You know, I still have to put my, um, uh, what is it, my, not primer. I'm having a brain fart. Guys, why did this happen to me so much lately? Oh, that's right, because you're perimenopausal. Welcome to that. Yes, that's what you get to look forward to in your later years. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Your mind just kind of goes somewhere. Okay, off on that tangent. Um, what I meant to say is your concealer or your highlighter is what I was trying to say in my most unobvious way. So that, that's how, A, how I do my contour. Here's a couple tools that you guys can try. And definitely they're both winners. I think just Fenty's a little bit softer than the Morph. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you had some fun. I hope you learned a little something, something. Please add your comments and your likes down below. Remember, this is not endorsed. I pay for it out of my own pocket. I do have a little tip jar. So if you guys wanna help and support me that way, I would appreciate that because that all goes to the product as well as equipment so I can continue doing these for you guys. If you don't want to, please don't feel like you have to. It's not an ifs, ands, or but, but if you do want to support me, what I need from you is to like and to share or to add comments. All those things help to boost my page and that's a really great way of help it supporting me without actually paying for anything, which I also don't mind. I appreciate very, very much. So thank you all. I'll see you on the next one.